talking about 20 musical artists that define the genre. I'm Eric. I'm Nathan. And we are Notes and Nerds. Okay, guys, so we got something really cool today. We're going to talk about 10 musical artists that define the genre. Part one. So here we go. Number one, Gwar, Shock Rock. Gwar is a comedy heavy metal band from Richmond, Virginia that was found in 84. They're well known for their costumes, their visual effects, and their science fiction theme mythology. Gwar is like unitary barbarian warriors. Um, they are known to the media as Shock Rock. It, even because of the death of Corey Smoot and David Brocky, Gore still pushes on today. Number two is Korn, New Metal. Korn is an American New Metal band from Bakersfield, California that was formed in 1993. They have released seven albums from 1984 to 2013, with another one coming out before too long, and 39 music videos. They've also released 41 uh, singles, 28 of which have been charted, and they've also earned two Grammy Awards and seven nominations, or out of seven nominations, and two MTV Music Video Awards out of 11 nominations. Number three, New Kids on the Block, Boy Bands. So New Kids on the Block was a band that formed in Boston, Massachusetts, Choosest, sorry, in 1984, they were well known in the late 80s and the early 90s. They sold over 80 million records and have won a lot of music awards. Um, after disbanding in 94, they reunited in 2007. The group also has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Number four, The Beatles. Classic rock. The Beatles were an English rock band that formed in Liverpool in 1960. The Beatles were regarded as one of the greatest and most influential rock and roll bands of the era. In the early 60s, their giant popularity first emerged as Beatlemania. They acquired the nickname the Fab Four as Beatlemania grew in Britain over the following year. After their breakup in 1970, they enjoyed successful music careers. Lennon was shot and killed, unfortunately, in December of 1980, and Harrison died of lung cancer in November of 2001. McCartney and Starr, the surviving members, remain musically active. Number five, George Clinton, Bunk. George Clinton was an American singer and the producer of P-Funk. Not to be confused with Bill Clinton, former president of the United States of America. Wrong people. Okay, so George Clinton was the mastermind behind Parliament and Funkadelic during the 70s and the early 80s. In 81, he chose to do a solo career. In 1997, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame and he is known as the foremost innovator in funk music. In September 2009, he was awarded the Urban Icon Award by the Broadcast of Music Incorporated. Number seven, Joan Jett, Girl Rock. Joan Jett is an American guitarist and singer. She is best known for her work with Joan Jett and the Blackhearts and the Runaways. She has three albums that have been certified as platinum and gold. She has been a feminist icon throughout her whole career. In 2011, 2012, and 2013, she had been nominated for Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but was never included. Number eight, Slim Whitman, Classic Country. Slim Whitman was an American country music singer, best known for his yodeling abilities and his smooth three high octave range falsetto. Slim Whitman has covered or sold over 120 million records with a string of hits from the 60s clear into the 21st century. Whitman garnered a new generation of fans when his music was featured in 1996 film Mars Attacks. Number 9, B.B. King, Blues. B.B. King is an American singer and guitar player. 
He is one of the most influential blues musicians of all time. It's even earned him the nickname the King of Blues. B.B. King was inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1987. B.B. King also has developed one of the world's most influential guitar sounds. King has mixed blues, jazz, swing with mainstream pop to jump into a unique sound. Number 10, The Doors, Psychedelic Rock. The Doors were an American psychedelic rock band formed in 1965 in Los Angeles, California. They were among the most controversial, influential, and unique rock bands of the 60s and well beyond. Most of this is because of Morrison's wild poetic lyrics and charismatic but unpredictable po uh, stage persona. In 1993, The Doors were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They even have a movie based off of uh, Morrison starring Val Kilmer. You should check it out. Alright guys, that concludes our episode where we talked about 10 of our 20 artists that define the music genres that they're in. Next week's episode, we're going to talk about 10 more artists to finish off that list of 20. So, check out our uh, social media websites. What are they? They are Google+, Twitter, and Facebook. And you follow those and you get updates and links to cool information every day. Also, all that information is available on our homepage at www.notesandnerds.com. Don't forget to check out our Patreon page where you can help us and get really cool rewards. Yep, and on top of that, we have our own shop at shop.notesandnerds.com where you can buy cool swag, shirts, clothing items, teddy bears, Stuff for mom, dad, you, the baby, notes, nerds, whatever. Everything in between. It's groovy, baby. So remember, kumbaya, my dear.